And we back like bra straps is Vach Lombardi. This is the second video that was sponsored by Ken Miles. Y'all go on the chat box, show a little love for him. We're going to get this Nikhil Harry video going. Um, Nikhil Harry, he's my wide receiver number three. Y'all go check my uh, ranking videos for that and my reasonings and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's get into it, man. Nikhil Harry, uh, he's a big body receiver, not the super good duper athlete. You know, as you know, some of these other guys are or whatever. But what he does well is um, I think he's a, uh, he's a great yak guy. I think he's a solid route runner for his size. Uh, he has a lot of dependability. He can get a little uh, just a little more secure with some of these catches, but he does have a lot of dependability in him. Um, but for the most part, I think his hands are fine. Now, what I notice a lot from Arizona State is they'll just get him easy passes and let him be yak guy. Um, this is something else I really like about him, man. Um, they'll just give him the ball easy and let him convert big yards, uh, well, bigger yards than um, than what he got. Even here, quick pass, <laughs> get some yak. <laughs> I think they do this three times in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one more time, one more time. No, it ain't this one. It's definitely this play. Hold up. Yep, here we go again. It's a short play, yeah, guy. Um, and I think that's uh, that's gonna be a lot of Nikhil Harry's bag. We're gonna see him get short passes and yak, and we're going to see him um, out physical, big body receiver people. We're gonna see a lot of that. Catch radius on point right here, right? We see him identified with the Miss Pokeball indicator or the I'm about to go Super Saiyan. Um, um, animation or whatnot we're going to see him get downfield and we're basically going to see him play big body receiver game right um now when you have big big bodies big body receivers you would expect them to move like big body receivers i think what what makes the kill kind of different is that he's big body guy but he can move a little better than a lot of big body guys not saying he's super athletic though he's not super duper af athletic dude but he is a better route runner uh than most big guys plus um he can he can he can uh he can move a bit better but um you're gonna see a lot of this the Bef before we move on man i just had to show young Nikhil high point the ball again man because i really think that's that's something that he's that he's really gonna excel at once he once he gets in his league body or whatever we're gonna see a lot of red zone targets to him just jumping over folks uh ripping the ball out the air playing you know um playing uh big man receiver so um we'll see what's gonna happen with that moving forward depending on what team he goes to but um we'll see he gets lined up in different spots. Like he, I don't think he'll play a lot of slot receiver, but if he can, he will be one of those bigger body, um, muscle you from the inside, um, type of slot builds. You know, I think he's, he's mostly going to be like an outside guy. Um, he didn't get the ball here. That's fine. I just showed you this just to show you his, um, you know I mean? His alignment or whatever, but, um, I think there there's a there's a possibility that he can he can go to the next level and and play some more of that interior wide receiver spot. Um we got a little bit over here again right here. Didn't get the ball once again like I said, but we just see him lined up on the inside. So, um I think even on the next level you can um you can count on him being moved all over the place. Now, I like for my big receivers to be like nasty blockers, you know what I mean? I think he can he, he can he can be a little better um blocking that's just my personal opinion actually now that i think about it he's my wide receiver four um hakeem butler is my wide receiver three because he's bigger he moves a little faster plus he blocks better than Nikhil. um Nikhil, for being a bigger guy i want him to be a ridiculous blocker you know what i mean don't let this little bitty dude get his hands inside on you Nikhil. you know uh kind of solid blow delivery right there man but i want you to follow up and whoop that dude man like a like a big receiver supposed to do 
We see a little bit of smoothness with his routes here. We see him lined up on the inside. Um, they're not like I said, he's not super nuanced route runner guy, but we do see a little bit of smoothness. We do see a little bit of um um just a little good good uh good enough movement there to say that he's uh that he's a bigger receiver. Now he's running like he's running like a damn caveman right here. I'm gonna leave him alone, but um but he can he can run routes for a for a bigger guy. Now is he a super nuanced route runner guy? Nah, he's not like a super saiyan route runner. Um but if you look at how a lot of big guys run routes, they look stiff, they look ridiculous, uh clownish, cartoonish. Um I think Nikhil can um can actually give you a little bit of uh just a little bit of creativity when he's running his routes. Plus he he uh, he has um you know Big man smoothness when he's running. Let's YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M and M's, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's Patreon.com/slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. You know, something else interesting about him, man. This is here. Sometimes he's a he's a secure hands guy. Sometimes I've seen him snatch some ridiculous balls, man. But sometimes he just, he'll just, he'll just, he'll just drop them, you know? Sometimes he won't. He'll just put them on the ground and end up clapping his hands, cussing. You know what I mean? You know, and you know, I don't know if this is I, I don't want to say he can't catch because he can catch. I just want to say maybe he'll uh, he'll get hit with a focus drop or two because nobody's around him. Nobody's making noise around him. Nobody, you know, he he's he's solid here. Um, I just think that it's a it's a it's a it's a focus thing, um, and that's unfortunate. And I really really like this play, man. Check this out. This is Nikhil Harry. It's gonna be the last the last play we're gonna show, man. This, this is Nikhil Harry, man. Love this play. Gonna get the ball to him. Yak guy, right? Catches the ball. This dude bounces off of him. Now, I don't recommend his ass reversing the field like this because he's not super athlete dude to be reversing the field like this. Um, but Nikhil as a playmaker, you know, I think that's another intangible thing. Just something that we just can't really, uh, something that we can't measure. Just him as a playmaker. Um, I think I think that's that's one of the things that's uh that's gonna separate him from a lot of other guys, man. Like whenever his team needs him, you can depend on him. Dependability is one of those uh is one of those five things in my wide receiver ranking videos that I rank guys on. Can I get you the ball and can you make a play? And Nikhil Harry one hundred percent um makes plays and um that's why he's my fourth rank receiver. All right. Um, with that being said, man, I want to hold y'all all day. Once again, salute to um, Ken Miles for sponsoring this video and the Darnell Savage joint. Y'all can go check that out as well. Um, y'all like the video, go in the comment section, tell me how you feel, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop random ass film sessions in the middle of the week just like this. Today we dropped two of them. You know what I'm saying? Um... Don't forget about the Patreon. It's more important than food and water. Follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I, and support the merch. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, man. The Peace Whiskey costs you nothing. Salute. Peace.